I was contacted a little while ago by Primer Gun, and they sent me their starter pack, which I believe is called the Razor Black Set. This is intended for new Gunpla builders, not so much advanced builders, because advanced builders tend to have a whole litany of different sanding products and such. This is geared towards someone who doesn't really do painting and all the other rigmarole that I tend to go through. The presentation is nice. Simple box. You crack it open, it's got some nice paper here that I can't read because it's in Korean. We've got the black razor. This thing right here is what you use with these pieces of sandpaper. Uh, 400 grit and 600 grit with a sticky end. You might find these very common in the infinite model maker stuff. It's becoming fairly prominent and popular. Like you cut out what you need and you stick it to the black razor and you start sanding away the boon is you can just you know once you've used up that sandpaper you just rip it off and put on a whole other one rather than losing an entire sand stick i guess it's less huss and less fuss once again this is geared towards people probably with not a lot of space for a whole infinite number of sanding sticks and tools and whatnot so I see the thought process here. It's very simplified, very easy to work with, and it doesn't take up a lot of space. We also have the balancers. Believe it or not, I use gun primers, balancers all the time. After you're done sanding, uh, here's proof that I have been using my balancer that gun primer sent me before. And as you can see, it's pretty demolished. It's seen better days. Now, after you use the black razor, with whatever sandpaper you choose to use, which will probably be 400, then six if necessary. You're probably always gonna end in 600 grit. You can then move to the gray balancer. The gray balancer removes scratches and probably this is the one you wanna use if you're just gonna leave a kit kind of matte finished. But if you want something more high gloss, that's when you move to the white balancer. And I guess they cover all the bases here. Gray to remove scratches. Most people I believe flat coat their kits anyway, that straight build and white to get a high gloss finish, which I would feel is something you'd probably want to pursue with the Sinanju or certain parts on a Sasabi if you were to just straight build the kit. Frankly, I use these for any parts that I'm going to chrome finish. So mainly thrusters, honestly. That's what I feel it's best for, for me, personally. And since I spray paint my blacks directly onto the plastic, there's no need to primer. And the better the surface, the more glossy the black looks. So that's a tip there. The better your surface for painting, the better the glossy black looks, the better the glossy black looks, the more reflective your reflective paint will look when you spray paint. So I use these balancers quite often. But overall, I would highly recommend these for people who do straight builds. Not exactly anything I think advanced modelers would use. And I hope that's helpful. Please forgive me if I sound tired. I've been uh, burning the candle at both ends while working on stuff. So uh, I apologize for that. I forgot to mention that I do have a 10% off discount code at Gun Primer, which is basically, it's a Gunpla 10 to get 10% off of any of your orders and all of your orders. Even if this isn't your speed, I would recommend personally their guide tapes for panel lining. These are very simple, easy to use, and they make it a whole lot nicer for beginners that are trying to do their own custom panel line scribing. That's my personal belief. They also have some, a few, not too many though, these are new products, water slide decals for everything from the GM Sniper to the Johnny Ryden or Johnny Ryder, Zaku. GM Sniper 2 Custom, Origins Gundam, the 144 Scale, New Gundam, and the Zaku 2 Master Grade. I'll do a review of these because I bought them all with my own cash, so I'll be sure to do something with those soon. Unfortunately, they didn't come fast enough for my Zaku build, and I'll keep you posted on that. They also have books to help you with customizing your Gunpla. I don't mind the G rework. I like them a lot, actually. So that's just from me personally, if this isn't your speed. They carry a couple things that are decent, I personally think. Now, thank you for your time, and good night, everybody.